Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be redoing the permissions video that I did, I think like four or five months ago, because that old video is a little bit outdated and there's actually a better way to do permissions than that video. So before I get started, I do want to give my Discord server a quick shout out. Come here. There are a bunch of channels here if you need help with your Discord.js code. So come here. We have Discord.js help. One, two, we got beginners help. And we also have a command showcase where a bunch of the code helpers are actually able to uh, present some of their code free to use for some of the commands. So come here and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So open up your project. We're only gonna be working in the message.js file as well as all the commands that you wanna have permissions. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna have a whole list of the valid permissions that Discord allows us to do. So we're going to do a const valid permissions this is going to be equal to a list, open the list. And what I'm going to do here is paste once again, all of the valid permissions that discord has available. So I'm going to paste them in. I'm going to have this in the description down below. I don't want you guys to go ahead and type all of this, but what we're going to do basically is go ahead and check the permission that was entered in the command file and check if it's actually a valid permission, just in case you make a mistake in a command file. All right, so once this is done, we're actually going to create a new command key. So in your command files, we're going to create a new key, and this key is going to be named permissions. So permissions, this is again going to be a list of strings, and these permissions have to match the permissions that we entered right here in this valid permissions list. So for example, in the clear command, I only want people who have administrator. So let me find the administrator one. It should be right here. So let me copy the administrator permission. They can only do this if they don't have the administration permission or manage messages. So manage messages is right here. Go ahead and copy that and paste that. So that is it. That's basically what you have to do. I did an extra one right here. And that is it. That is the key that you have to enter in all of your command files that you want to have a permissions in. So that's pretty much it. Do that on all the command files. Let's continue back in our message.js. Below our list, we want to check that this key exists. If it doesn't exist, then the command doesn't need any permissions. You can go ahead and continue. So if uh, command that permissions, so if it exists, we're also gonna do the length of it. So if, the, if that key has a length, the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create another list of the invalid permissions. So invalid perms, equal this to an empty list. And now we're going to do a for of loop, trying to check all of these permissions against these permissions. So for command, uh, sorry, const perm of command that permissions, go ahead and open this up. And we want to do an if statement to check that if that permission, like this permission or this permission, does not exist in this list, that means that whoever was coding this command actually made a mistake. So if permissions list, uh, permissions list, did I type this correctly? What's valid permissions, sorry. The list is called valid permissions, valid permissions. That includes, and it must include that perm. Open this up and we can easily type a message in the console saying, Hey, you typed an invalid permission in this command file. So return console.log. We are going to log saying invalid permission and go ahead and just say, Hey, this is the invalid permission. Following this, let's get out of the actually stay in the for loop. And we are going to check that the user who's actually typing the command actually has each of these permissions. So if the user, so it's message that member dot has permission. And we're going to pass in that perm. We're looping with perm. We're creating a perm variable here. And this perm variable is going to hold each key, each value of these command permissions. So this perm right here is basically going to be equal to this first and then this. So we're looping through all of these. So if we don't have these perms, we are just going to simply invalid perms that push we're going to push in perm and then what we have to do is go ahead and actually break out of this for loop all right now let's get out of the for loop and now we're going to check 
that if this list actually has something in it, that means the user actually has an invalid perm. So if invalid perm, perms dot length. So if there's a length to that array, that means that someone has an invalid permission. So we're going to do return message dot channel dot send. We're going to send saying missing uh, permissions, and we can actually just send the permissions. So um, invalid perms. Go ahead and save this and that's actually pretty much it now i'm gonna go ahead and log into a dummy account on my other um discord account so let me go ahead and do that all right we should be good to go let me go ahead and save everything and run our bot let me open up discord and since i'm an administrator of this test server here i can go ahead and do clear and it's going to go ahead and run the command it's going to say please enter the amount of messages you want to clear however if i go in a dummy account so let me go in my dummy account and do clear it's going to say, hey, you're missing the permissions administrator. So there's actually something you can do. And this is something if you want to edit and make it look nice is come all the way in here. And where you're sending the message, what we want to do is go ahead and do a backslash tilde. And at the end, a backslash tilde. And what this is going to do is if you go ahead and run the bot one more time, it's just gonna look nice. So if we come here and I go ahead and do this one more time, it's gonna have this coding block here and it's just gonna look nicer. So if I'm missing the permissions, it's just gonna go ahead and tell me all the permissions that I'm missing in this account. I don't have administrator, but apparently I did have managed messages. So let me go ahead and delete manage messages from this user. And it looks like there's actually an error in our code. I don't have managed messages. And the reason this is happening is because we actually don't wanna break of this for loop until we have all of the permissions looped through. Um, so if you delete this break and I will have the code in the description and go ahead and run the bot one more time Go into our discord server. Go ahead and go into my dummy account do clear and it's gonna say now you have these two permissions that you're missing So let's say you accidentally come in here and you accidentally type a wrong Permission so one of the permissions is actually not in this list. So let's just say hello That's not a permission on discord go ahead and save and what's gonna actually gonna happen is when we run our bot and we test this by doing clear, go into our bot, it's gonna say, hey, there's an invalid permission. So it's kind of like error checking for you. So now you can go back and look at the code and be like, yep, this is not a permission. And you can go ahead and delete it. And that's pretty much it. You can add as many permissions as you want. All the permissions are gonna be on this list. So you can come here and check them. So maybe manage guild is not a permission um, or is a permission that people have to do or have uh, to do this command here. So clear, no space not. Go back into Discord. This account can do it because I am an administrator. Go into the other account. It's gonna say, hey, you're missing these permissions. So that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to join my Discord server. These are all my Patreons. Thank you so much for all the Patreons to supporting me. If you guys wanna support me in Patreons, it's gonna be a link in the description um, for that. So I'll see you guys later on my next video. Peace.